This is the 7 Hz Legato Dual Dynamic Driver IEM and it's the basiest IEM that I have in my collection so far at the time of filming this video. Hi guys, my name is Ian. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, if you guys are watching my videos for the first time, thank you so much. I do mostly audio product reviews. Uh, and if you guys are interested in this type of content, do consider to subscribe and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos. And that will really help me and my channel out a lot uh, at no cost to you. Okay, right, in this video, I'm gonna review this 7 Hz Legato. Uh, I've already unboxed it and graphed it, and if you guys wanna watch that video, do check out the link up above. But in this video, I'm just gonna focus on the sound and uh, of course the accessories and the fit and comfort in it, but most importantly, the sound, all right? But before I begin, I'd like to thank Hi-Fi Go uh, for sponsoring this video. Yes, it's available on their website for 109 US dollars. So for those of you who are interested, do check out the unaffiliated links in the description below. All right, so let's jump straight into it. Uh, first, let's talk about the accessories. Uh, it came with this box, all right? So this carrying case is a hard shell case. Uh, as you can see, I took out the inner tray. This is the inner tray. I don't mm, intend to use this uh, outdoors. I'm just gonna store my accessories. The thing is, this case is a little bit too big for me and I don't know how to, it doesn't really fit, uh, well, my overall package <laughs> in terms of my bag. I, sometimes I don't even carry a bag when I go out, so I don't wanna clutch this in my, my hands and send out wrong signals. I mean, it's got gold zippers and red cover, so it's gonna send out wrong signals if I do carry this out. But yeah, that's the case, right? Ear tips. Now, ear tips, I like them very much. I use the ear tips and I do like the fit and comfort of this ear tips. Very comfortable and uh, it's not the best, of course, but it fits the IEM itself. So yeah, no complaints on this uh, ear tips. The flange is of good quality um, and it's very sturdy. So very nice ear tips. Uh, cable, right? This cable, you know, to me, the most important thing about cable is that firstly, it does not create any microphonics uh, and it doesn't tangle. Even if it tangles, uh, it should be manageable when, it, when, when I untangle it. And this cable doesn't give me any of those problems. It's very easy to untangle. Uh, it looks good, it's um, quite thick. It's not the thickest that I have, but it's quite thick. So it looks quite premium as well. Looks upgraded and the ear, ear hooks are comfortable. So overall, this cable is a value for money cable uh, in terms of the overall package, lah. okay? All right, so let's talk about fit and comfort. Uh, these IMs fit my ear very comfortably. And as you can see, uh, it goes into my ear very, very well doesn't give me any pain or any fatigue, uh, doesn't press on my inner ear as well. So no issues wearing this. I can wear this the entire day and I have no complaints, okay? So, and it gives me a very good seal as well. Um, yeah, when, it, when I'm wearing this, it blocks out most of the sound. Uh, maybe about 60 to 70% of the, my ambient sound is being cut off. Okay, so now let's jump straight into the sound of this IM and man, uh, in terms of price to performance, now if you are a bass head, this is definitely the IM to get. Uh, it's value for money. I mean, 109 US dollars to get a bass head, a quality bass head IM is a steal, right? This is my recommendation. I've tried Fat Freak, I've tried a lot of bassy IMs. This is a value for money IM to get. So just go get it if you are a bass head, okay? So, but other than that, you know, um, if you're not a bass head, you still can get this IEM, uh, but it's just that you, you need to EQ away the bass or lower the bass so, so that you get a bit more details uh, from your instruments. But essentially, um, this, uh, this IEM is for people who like bass, okay? Uh, yeah, so in terms of value for money, price to performance performs really well, okay? Now let's talk about the sound stage on this. Sound stage is, well, it's not the widest sound stage. It's quite intimate actually. Uh, got good height and good depth as well. Uh, instruments, they've got good spacing, well laid out. Uh, vocals, they sound a bit intimate, uh, but it's not very, very near. It still have got that intimacy kind of uh, feeling when I'm listening to my tracks, but it's pretty okay. The distance is still there. 
Uh, sound separation and uh, imaging is very good as well. No problems with that. It's dual dynamic drivers. So uh, in terms of separating the sound from left to right channel, uh, and of course the layers and the instruments and the vocals and everything else is well separated. Imaging, I can identify where the instruments are, the vocals are in the middle and all that. So no problems with that. Now detail retrieval. All right, so this is a base CIM. So the base itself will veil most of the details, right? So if you're listening to uh, base CIMs, obviously you won't get much detail out of this IM. Uh, but if you're listening to uh, orchestras or even solos, uh, you might get some detail. But in general, the details are being veiled by the base. So it's not a detail monster. So if you're looking for an IM with details, this is not the IM to go for, okay? Uh, resolution though is very good on this IM. No issues with re resolution. It's a very resolving IV IM with the um, sub base being handled by one of the, the well, the biggest uh, dynamic driver, which is the 10 millimeter. And then you have the um, six millimeter dynamic driver that handles the treble. So it's very resolute uh, delivery of sound uh, on this Legato, right? So no issues with that. Now the tone and timbre on this IM is warm, is fun, is casual, engaging, is heavy in note weight, is so nice, all right? It's very, very colored type of uh, tone and timbre. So uh, just by listening to the description or, or on this in terms of tone and timbre, it's meant to be. I mean, this is what they did intentionally uh, to produce that type of uh, tone and timbre to give you that, uh, well, emotional connection to your tracks when you're listening to it, especially to EDM, trance, techno, heavy metal, drum and bass, rap, hip hop, uh, pop songs, even jazz. Oh man, this ov overall this, this, the sound and the track just comes alive with the bass, just the bass. Okay, so anyway, let's jump straight into the uh, sound signature. If you look at the sound signature, which I think I'll post up here or here, um, it's V-shaped, right? With the elevation of the bass, all right? So bass is much more than the treble. Treble is also elevated, so leaving the mids recessed, obviously. So in terms of sub-bass, uh, it's got a dimensional sub-bass. The rumble has got dimensions to it. Okay, uh, when I compared it with my next bassiest IM, which is the Rose Finch, uh, this is the KBR Rose Finch, and it's the next bassiest IM that I have, uh, it's a single dynamic driver. It good produces very good uh, sub bass as well, but it doesn't have that dimension as compared to the Legato. Legato has got that surround type of bass. Uh, it's got body, it's got firmness as well. So. Oh, that rumble, it travels throughout my body. It, it vibrates my eardrums and my ear canal. That vibration is a physical vib vibration. Oh my God. I've never felt that kind of vibration in my ears. And this can produce that vibration, okay? So very good rumble, very good sub bass, very extended uh, sub bass, warm, heavy in note weight. It's just an earthquake quick experience okay uh, the mid bass is punchy the impact is there one punch it, it just blows me out uh, blow after blow after blow and especially when I'm listening to really mid bass uh, centric type of uh, trance that blow just punches my my ear out and uh, it's sometimes I, I can't stand it I, I have to take a break uh, that's that kind of level of mid bass that you're gonna get. But man, the mid bass is really punchy. Especially with a sauce, a good sauce. And now this is the sauce that I paired with that gave me that, that vibration and gave me that intense punch. This is the Hip Deck 2 with the X bass on. My goodness, the bass I get is, oh, is another level. Right, and furthermore, I, I connected it with um, balance output using my balance cable. So uh, this cable is not balanced, by the way, it's single-ended. So I used my balance cable out, and man, the bass 
just hits me. Okay, so that's bass. Now the mids, mids are recessed, obviously, uh, and instruments, I mean, they still sound clear, right? You've got dedicated drivers uh, to push out the sound for the mids. Uh, it's got that presence, it's just that it's veiled by the bass and the treble. Uh, vocals, they sound not bad, it's good. Uh, I prefer male vocals on this. Female vocals, they sound okay, but male vocals, they, they've got that authority there. They sound warm and they sound uh, present in the mix. So very good presence in, uh, for the male vocals, but female vocals, uh, it's okay. It's average in terms of the presentation of female vocals. Uh, and they're all right. It's got good air to the female voice uh, and good present. Well, not a very present one, but a very good presentation of the female voice, okay? Uh, treble. Treble, I would say, is sufficient, all right? Uh, the gain is all right, it's not harsh, uh, and it's pretty present. Uh, it's not sibilant as well, it's got, well, there's no peak. If you look at the graph, there's no peak. It's got good um, airiness to the treble, so overall, uh, my cymbal strikes, my hi-hats, which is very important in my trance and my EDM, uh, they sound good and clear. So it's got good extension as well. So overall, the treble is a very safe tuning for the treble. No issues with that. They are not recessed, it's not dark, it's not a, well, it's pretty okay. It's not the darkest treble that I've listened to, uh, but it's pretty bright, it's okay. Uh, it's very, very safe treble, okay? But the focus is not, obviously, is not the treble, the focus is the bass, okay? Right, so that's my overall sound signature of this legato and uh, well, in conclusion, this is a very engaging uh, IEM. The, the, I sleep with this every night, okay, and it gives me that vibration, I mean, to my brains, okay, uh, that puts me to sleep, okay, it gives me that therapeutic uh, bass um, addiction that I have. It's a very addictive bass, that's all I can say. And I do recommend that you get this IEM just to keep it in your collection for that bass level. Right, so that concludes my overall uh, review of this 700 Legato. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos. Right, so that's it for now. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys have a great day ahead and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.